Dear students, here is the part one regarding the extraction of lanthanides. Before proceeding, we will discuss the common terms which are used in metallurgical process. The first one is ore, the mineral or rock that contains the important element or metal and from which the metal or important element can be extracted easily is called an ore. It means every mineral is not a ore but every ore is a mineral. The next term is crushing, breaking, destroying, altering the structure of the deposit, rock, mineral, etc. In crushing process, the big pieces of the rock containing the mineral are broken down into small pieces. The next one is grinding. Conversion into powder. What is the importance of the crushing and grinding? Crushing breaks big pieces into smaller one. Grinding changing the smaller one into powder. By making powder, we get two advantages. The number one is the powder can be used to prepare a homogeneous mixture easily. And the powder state has less volume as compared to granules, grains of the rock containing the mineral. The next is rough froth flotation. In this process, the finely divided ore is mixed with water and oil, ETC. Then bubbling is done through it. The ore particle get, get stick to the oil and float above the surface of water. This froth contain enriched form of ore so can be separated. It means froth flotation is just enrichment of ore containing that important element or metal which is to be extracted. Ore dressing. In this method, the ore minerals are separated from gank minerals. In ore dressing, the concentrate portion of mineral that contain the metal or important element is made, concentrate portion is made. That concentrate portion can be per, per, proceeded forward for further processing. What is digestion? Digestion dissolving in a solution. The most popular method in digestion process is acid digestion process. Roasting, heating at elevated temperature to react a gas with metal but the limit is that the temperature must not exceed the melting point of the metal to be extracted. The next one is extractive metallurgy, big term, the practice of removing valuable metals from an ore and refining the extracted raw metals into a purer form. And the leaching, the conversion of metals into their soluble salt in ecos media. Leaching, slowly withdrawing, removing of metals into a solution is called leaching. General principle of separation of lanthanides can be discussed as Conversion of lanthanide to their low solubility compounds such as oxalates, fluorides. After separation from other elements, fluorides, chlorides, etc. 
are reduced to metallic form by using calcium and other methods. The process, ion exchange process is the most important process for the separation of lanthanide from each other. What is to be done? A solution of lanthanide in ionic or soluble form is passed down a long column containing a resin. Column is shown in next slide, slides. The lanthanide ions stick to the resin with various strength based on their ionic size. Smaller ionic size, more stronger the sticking ability and bigger the size of the ion, weaker sticking ability to the resin. It means the lanthanum ions being smallest bind most tightly to the resin whereas the largest ion lutetium binds the weakest. The lanthanide are then washed out of the ion exchange column with various solutions emerging one at a time on the basis of ionic size every lanthanide emerge at a time and so are separated what is to be done next each portion that has been collected from the column is mixed with acid precipitated as oxalate compound and then heated to form an excite the portion collected from the column are then precipitated as oxalate compound and then heated to form the oxide. A number of methods have been used to obtain the lanthanide metallic form. For example, the oxides can be converted to fluorides, chlorides, which are then reduced with calcium to metallic form. The oxides can directly be converted, directly be reduced into metallic form by using the reducing agent such as calcium, etc. The extraction of metal seems to be a simple method, but this extraction comprises many steps. The major factors, major steps, which has to be done during extraction of metals, extraction of lanthanides, is shown below. We start from exploration, finding the high quality ore, then drilling and blasting getting ore out of the ground, crushing and milling, getting the mineral out of the ore. The first one is high quality ore, finding high quality ore, then getting ore out of ground, getting the mineral out of the ore by crushing and milling. Then separation, the mineral from the waste rock, then refining, cleaning the mineral or metal, then distribution, where these minerals or metals are needed. Brief review regarding the separation of lanthanides. Methods used for separation of lanthanides are of two types, old classical methods and modern methods. Old classical methods are fractional crystallization, Fractional precipitation method, fractional thermal decomposition of oxy acids, and change of oxidation state of selective oxidation reduction procedures, then precipitating, precipitating them. Fractional crystallization is a process in which crystallization of different substances present in a mixture are, is done one by one on the basis of difference of their solubility. For example, fractional crystallization is done for lanthanide nitrates dot 2 ammonium nitrate dot 4 H2O or lanthanum bromates. Fractional precipitation method is done by following the procedure that different substances form precipitates with different KSP value. On the basis of this solubility difference principle, 
that is called KSP, constant of solubility product, different components present in a mixture are precipitated one by one and can be separated. The next one is fractional thermal decomposition of oxy acids by heating the oxy acids are uh, decomposed and this decomposition of compounds further change into free metal by some other reduction methods. Fractional thermal decomposition is usually done for lanthanide nitrates. On heating lanthanide nitrate decompose into lanthanide oxide and into an oxygen, the oxide can then be reduced into pure lanthanides. Change in oxidation state by selective oxidation reduction procedures. In this method, certain lanthanides are oxidized and then precipitated as their oxides or any other compound. For example, cerium, europium may be extracted chemically by change of oxidation state by selective oxidation reduction procedures. Oxidize cerium into cerium plus 4 by HCl or KMnO4 then precipitate as cerium dioxide or cerium iodate etc. Similarly, if europium is treated with zinc mercury, then if it form a stable europium plus 2, M plus 2 ion that does not reduce water, then it can be isolated by forming its sulfate. Now the modern methods, the most popular method, modern methods nowadays are ion exchange method and solvent solvent liquid liquid or solvent extraction water and extracting solvent two liquids so it is called liquid liquid extraction method other methods are paper chromatography gas chromatography thin layer chromatography and complex formation these are also the modern methods and a research is going on on these methods and there are many research papers in literature in which scientists, researchers have used the paper chromatography, gas chromatography, thin layer chromatography and complex formation for the separation of lanthanides from the ores. How these methods are used? Ion exchange displacement column is used in which resin is packed that reason is cation exchange reason. The lanthanide ions stick to the, attach to the, absorb to the reason that can be eluted by using eluent ligand. The eluent ligands are EDTA, ethylene diamine tetraacetate ion and hydroxy isobutyric acid the structure of both are given here how the column is used the column is are shown on right side and this area this area this area has shown that when solution or solvent is added here then it move at different rate on the basis of difference of their sticking ability with the cation ion exchanger which is packed in the column and the portion that come out from the lower portion of the column is one by one and every fraction can be collected easily which one comes first? The ion. The ion comes first in the solution which has least sticking ability with the reason which is packed in the column. The binding ability, sticking ability of the ion is shown in the graph and 
it means difference of sticking ability is the basis of separation of different ion of lanthanides by using the column chromatography in which the ion exchanger have been packed. Now the large scale and austere preparation by using the solvent extraction method. In solvent extraction method, the extracting solvent is used which is immiscible with, in, with leak water in which the lanthanide ions are present, lanthanide compounds are present. Water and extracting solvent that is usually organic solvent which is immiscible in water are shaken together in a separating funnel. The lanthanide compounds pass on transfer to organic phase and the organic phase can be separated easily by using the separating funnel. Lanthanide plus 3 equals is extracted in a continuous counter current process, the process in which repeated extractions are done to get a concentrated portion of the extracting solvent which contains the maximum amount of lanthanide that is to be extracted that is under consideration. Which one solvent is usually used? The kerosene. In kerosene 10% tri and butyl phosphine oxide TBPO are base 2 ethyl hexyl phosphenic acid DEHPA can be used. By solvent extraction, the extracted portion is collected by repeated extractions and concentrated through evaporation and at the end the lanthanide compound can be separated that is further processed, processed and ultimately by using different methods such as reduction methods, selective oxidation reduction methods, the precipitates of compounds can be separated which are further reduced or oxidized and ultimately we can get the pure form of lanthanide. Solubility of lanthanide in solvent extraction method. Solubility of lanthanide plus 3 in organic solvent increases with the increase of relative atomic masses. Separation factor is good by which which shows that different lanthanides can be separated easily by using the solvent extraction technique and automatic multi-step counter current conditions can be used to get 99.9% purity of lanthanides. Thank you very much. In next lecture, part 2, we will discuss the detail of extraction of lanthanides.